where the clock rang and the horse ran fast. I had to hold my wallet because the bird was going to take it. <laughs> the lamp plugs in the bank, the army table swaying the lamp plugs. Nine swap cell <coughs> ring, lust floods, lamp lemon, table sway, army bank, fire hold, worm. That's my favorite worm. At this point, you're probably asking yourself, what are these people saying? What they're doing is trying to remember a list of 25 random words in a two minute period of time. So are these people, but they're just not as vocal about it. People who have the ability to say things in their head, they believe are probably more intelligent because they have the ability to kind of go through it in their heads. I feel like I should have some kind of method to do this, but I don't have a method. <laughs> Funny thing is, right, I broke it down into a pattern and everything. I'll yeah. be like, yo, I like, got this. Like, all the C words. Mm-hmm. There's like a kiwi banana out there. It's really freaky looking. I don't know. That just came in my head. There's so many different techniques that you can use to do it, but I think the chunking is considered one of the better ones. Chunking would be like taking bits and pieces of something and putting them together. So what we've done with, obviously, with telephone numbers, when people chunk think groups of things together, like the area code together, the first three together and the last four, and that's where we actually learned about how people remember things and how much they can remember. If you're trying to remember a lot of information, like kind of just relate it to something else that you know, so that it's easier for you to kind of remember it, um, or you can kind of make up little like devices to remember information. Next, they had two minutes to write down as many of the 25 words as they could remember. Are you ready? Yeah. Sure. Yep. Yes. <laughs> let's just go. Let's do it. Sure. Go ahead. Short term memory is when you only remember things that um, are recent and you can't remember a large amount of information at one time. I knew all of them and now I forgot all of them. And then, like, it gets the paper. I don't know anything, but it's fine. The random ones just kind of just go. So people can't do it unless they're really trying hard. And sometimes people do have their little mnem mnemonic things that they can do to keep things in order, but typically the random's the one that's gonna go. We then gave them another group of 25 words. Huh, animals. But this time, they were pre-categorized. I feel like I can see where like it's going, like where this experiment is going, and I'm like, hmm, okay. I see what you're trying to do. I figured it out. Y'all not smarter than me. I get it. There are categories now. Now you think I'm going to remember it better because it's all grouped together. I won't. It's definitely easier to remember words that are placed in categories because that way like, you can think of the category name and then kind of like associate those words with it, obviously. So if they're all random, I think part of your brain kind of automatically starts grouping them together that like words that are similar and you kind of remember those words but if they're already in categories you can remember um I think more information that way. And then when I say go you're gonna have two minutes to write down as many as you can remember. Go ahead. Animals, colors, items in a room, school, fruit. If it's grouped with um, into categories like you remember the words that are in specific categories and that way like your brain you can kind of go back and think like okay what was the category and you can kind of remember the words um, that were in each of those and then if they're all sporadic it's kind of harder to kind of re like remember the exact words that you looked at. In the end the average amount of words remembered in the random group was 11.8 with army being the most remembered and find being the most missed. For the pre-categorized group, the average amount of words remembered was 20.2, with all the animals being the most remembered and mango being the most missed. We then gathered a few groups of people and had them try to solve two different patterns, one physical and one verbal. But most people assumed the physical pattern was actually verbal. Two down. No. Two up. No. Two up. No. I'm gonna keep crying. No. <laughs> Two up. No. <laughs> one up, one down? No. One up, one down? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Two down. Yeah. Two down. Yeah. Two up. No. Two up. 
two down. Yeah. It's two down. One up, one down. No. That's the pair. Two up. Spam, two no. down. <laughs> um, one up, one down. One up. Just pick one? Yeah. Two down. Yes. Jack is in the exact same boat. I was the entire time. <laughs> if you're saying yes to that, I'm going to say two up. Wrong. No. What do I mean? No. Okay. One up, one down. No. Sorry, I'm like um, two up. Do you want me to go again? Or you can just... Are we, no, yeah, you go again, sure. Okay. Yeah. Two down. Yeah, d uh, one up. One down. No. No, that was the, that was, that yeah, was the option. You're wrong. Yeah, but you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> like, in school and stuff, when you do, like, word problems and stuff, like, I feel like it's mostly verbal and, like, riddles and things like that. Like, everyone thinks, like, verbal. But, like, no one just jumps to physical first because they're so used to the verbal component of it. After a long period of time, there were still some people who weren't catching on. Two up. Two up. Okay. <laughs> He's like soft bread. It's all one down. One down. <laughs> Wrong. No. <laughs> right, cool. Two down. Yes. Two up. Look at the people who are speaking. At, look at everybody. <laughs> it has nothing to do with it's what about Michaela the person says. Who, oh. You, yeah, it's well, only about each person. Yeah, two okay. up. Come on, man. <laughs> like, you're looking at me. You're looking at me. I don't. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. One up. One down. Oh, so the answer is ten. What? I don't <laughs> what? get it. <laughs> ten one more time. One more time. This. No, no, no. You're, you're like hands. No, okay, we'll like, go the hands. It's, 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 not like a pattern. it's, it's trying to mind. Each person has an individual answer. It's <laughs> not impacted by anyone else's answer. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Two down. Two up. Two down. Oh, so it's just where my hands are? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Two down? No. 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 I'm still going to shake myself. Over Two this. up. <laughs> Two <not> down. <laughs> one up, one down. <laughs> one up, one down. <laughs> Two down. Um, one up, one down. Yeah. <laughs> Two up. Two up. <laughs> Two down? Yes. 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 I hate you all. <laughs> <laughs> but do you know why? Yeah, why? Is it by their hands? Yeah. 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 Right. Right. I think we do get stuck. And that's another thing, like we get this path in our brain waves and they don't, they don't, they will not change. So no matter what you do, sometimes for some people, it doesn't change. That stuck thing is really important because they are stuck in the moment. It's interesting, right? So they're stuck in their own moment and they can't take anything from anyone else. Stupid, it's so obvious. You gotta kill someone. No, they're all there. <laughs> oh, Holy it's not even 2.30 max. Oh, oh my. Switch oh, cameras. Oh my god. I think we tend to overcomplicate things just because we're, we might be used to it. And like, we never think that something's that easy. Like, it's never going to be like just blatantly like right there. That like, that's why we always have to think that there's like a um, hidden meaning or something more in depth to something when it's really not. And I think just humans in general, like, we always think, like, way too deep into things. Um, so I think when we figure out, like, the answer was right in front of us the entire time, it's kind of like, are you kidding me? Like, and then we, like, get down on ourselves because we didn't figure it out and it was so easy. And then um, that's probably why they got so angry because it's like, it was that easy, but. <laughs> in the same groups, we then did a verbal pattern. This pattern revolved around the game, I'm going on a picnic. So what's going to happen is he's going to say, I'm going on a picnic and I'm bringing blank. Mm -hmm. Whatever Colin says, he can bring because he knows what the pattern is. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to, we'll go the opposite direction this time. So Jackie will go next. Mm -hmm. You're first. And, okay. Or so we, you will say, can I bring. Yeah. And you'll say, I'm going on a picnic. I can I bring, can I, can I bring the blank. And he'll say whether or not you can come if what you say goes along with the predetermined pattern. For one of the groups, the patterns were blue items and words that start with the letter L. I'm going on a picnic. I'm going to bring a bag of Cool Ranch Doritos. That's allowed. Come on. Yeah, man, I'm going to pick To be fair, Cool Ranch is the best flavor. I don't know right. um, I'm going on a picnic and I'm going to bring a marching band. No. Cool Jeez. Ranch Doritos and marching band. I'm going on a picnic and I'm bringing Matt Copet. <laughs> This boy, is it? Yeah, I'm gonna him? Bring him. Yeah. Which one is the one and only? No, you can't. Bro. <laughs> I tried, Matt. So what the hell am I supposed to bring? <laughs> bring me. I'm going on a picnic. Uh, I'm bringing weed. I come. <laughs> <laughs> it's not up. It was up to me. 
I say we bring it. No, up. you cannot bring weed. Is that a, so is that a wink that I saw? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to think that I'm going to bring some Lincoln Lungs. Remember Lincoln Lungs? I don't know. Lincoln Lungs. I'm going to picnic and I'm going to bring a box of blueberries. <laughs> no, wrong. <laughs> going on a picnic, I'm going to bring some smooth jazz. Uh, I'm going on a picnic, I'm going to bring some Legos. No, nope. can't count. Oh, that's what I was going to go with. Oh. Bring some Canucks. Phil, Phil, yes you can. You can go to the No Canucks? What? what? No Canucks? No Canucks, you can bring Legos. Your turn. What? Wait, you can't yeah, bring Canucks. The <laughs> Tinker Toys. Word. Yeah, uh, I'm going on a picnic, can I bring some Tinker Toys? No, you can't count. These were all solved fairly quickly, with an average of around two minutes. Blue shirt. Yeah, there you go. I'm going on a picnic. Can I bring a uh, blue plastic dildo? <laughs> <laughs> we always need some of those, yeah. Come on. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, um, uh, I'm going on a picnic. Uh, could I bring my. Uh, to me. <laughs> oh, I got it, I got it. Got it. Uh, my uh, copy of VHS tape of Blue's Clues. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. I couldn't think of anything else. Um, I'm gonna bring uh, a looking giraffe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, I don't have any more words. A licking giraffe! Yeah, sure. If it licks, the first thing he does is lick. <laughs> <laughs> oh Alright, I'm bringing I'm bring Linda, who's my friend. Bring a locked up prisoner. Yeah. But with the last two groups, we did something a little harder. Oh, okay. I think I'm gonna bring bread. Can yeah. I go? Sorry, you can't I'm come. I'm going on a picnic, and I'm going to bring carrots. No, you cannot come. I'm going on a picnic, and I'm going to bring napkins. No, you cannot come. What? I'm going on a picnic, and I'm bringing... Wow. I'm going to say something random, and I'm trying to figure out. I'm bringing silverware. Yes, you can come. I'm going on a picnic and I'm bringing a Twinkie. Wait. Yeah, you can come. Sweet. Okay. Can I bring butter? <laughs> <laughs> no. Someone already said butter. You already said butter. Oh. <laughs> you can get a butter. Fingers. No fingers. Can I bring meat? No. What did you bring again this time? Abstract. The or last thing I brought? Angle. Yeah, it was an angle. You brought an angle. angle. Yeah. And I'm, <laughs> and I'm allowed to bring Chase. So. And you're allowed to bring cheese. And I brought a tree. Can I bring Alec? Alec. No. Okay. But something interesting happened in one of the groups. Remember him? He was the last to figure out the physical pattern. But with the verbal, he was first. Do you think you know it? I think I know it. Uh, awesome. Should I tell him? Yeah. Oh, look. Uh, <coughs> Single orange. Yo, got this one the first one. <laughs> <laughs> the first one this time. So, so you're good with verbal cues, but not this one. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just like, when it comes to like looking, ugh. Yeah, very bad. That's why I'm a sound guy. <laughs> I think it's their mindset. So if they were in the physical one, like thinking in terms of verbal, obviously it would take them longer because they weren't thinking in terms of physical. They were trying to still like think like they were never minded. And thinking of the verbal component and then in the actual verbal one they were like oh like I know this like it would be easier for them can I bring a grate you can bring a grate yes can I come come over and juggle <coughs> you can you can come if you juggle can I, I bring <coughs> uh, sorry you, you had a mitten correct no not a mitten can I bring my pineapple with the end you can bring uh, pineapple <coughs> uh I'll bring the dough yeah <laughs> I am bringing a house. I'm guessing I'm not going to be allowed to bring a crew line? No. Racist. I think the word experiment in general kind of freaks people out because when you say experiment, you don't know if you mean like a lab experiment or if you mean like, um, just like obviously a social experiment, you're going to be like talking with people, but like I think the word experiment just kind of has like an unknown meaning to it, kind of. Um, and people don't like not knowing things, like I said before. So I think um, 
if you just say like, hey, like, do you want to do this social experiment? Like, they're gonna think like, oh my god, like the worst things possible because we always jump to the worst conclusions. So they like probably did that, but once they realized that it was kind of fun, then they're like, oh, okay.